really calm, soft body weight stretch. Release tension, really activate breath, and just ground down and restore. Just think, get comfortable for the evening. So find yourself a comfortable place to move if you want to go outside and join me or be in the comfort of your warm living room. <laughs> it's quite chilly here. So again, I am a guide for you for movement. Listen to your body at all times and just stop when you need to. Always take rest when you have to. And let's just take this really calm 20 minutes to release. Grab a pillow to help assist in your child's pose and let's get started there. And don't mind if you have, um, hear some noises. I cannot predict nature. Okay, so. again big inhale three more like that big inhale through the nose I want you to continue that breath for the remainder of our class, being mindful that you're sending your inhalation into your spine and into the sides of the ribcage. Come forward into tabletop, where you're going to bring your knees wide and your hands wide. Let's begin with a cat-cow, starting with a rounding of the spine, a tuck of the pelvis, chin goes into the chest, reverse by bending your elbows, pushing your chin up. Exhale, round. Big breath in, push the chin up to the ceiling. Exhale, pull the belly button in. We're gonna come back to neutral when you're ready. We're gonna walk our hands a little bit further out in front of us than underneath our shoulders. Knees are a little bit wider so we can sit the hips back, opening up the groin. Then you're gonna launch yourself forward, leveling out your hip flexors. You may feel a little pop in your hip. Sink yourself back and then pull yourself forward, level out the hips. Continue just with that forward and back motion, letting the inner thigh and the groin release. Let's add the breath. Exhale, inhale forward. Exhale back. One more, forward and back. And we're gonna begin to take circles, being mindful of our wrists. Let's go over to the left, feel the right inner thigh open. Over through center to the right shoulder, feel that left inner thigh. Now sink those hips back. You're drawing circles around to each shoulder. And as soon as you get to the back of the hips, the back of the heels, just let those hips open up. Make a little booty circle as you circle back. Let's do three more. Continuing the breath. Nice job, one more around. Go back through center, and we're gonna reverse over to the right, center, and back to the left. Gripping the fingertips forward and then around. We're gonna do three more. We're going the opposite direction than we just were. Two, 
One. One, two. To come down onto your elbows. Stretch your legs out straight. Keep your neck long and pull the belly button in. Begin to squeeze the bum and lower yourself down. Bring your hands now towards your rib cage. Pull the shoulders all the way up and back. Spread the fingertips wide. Anchor your legs into the floor. Pull the belly button in until it lifts off of the mat. Neck stays long, eyes stay down. Inhale, lift yourself up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lead with your shoulders back to open up your chest. Use your hands to push you up. And then exhale, lengthen yourself down. Complete three more. Growing longer as you go up. And then longer as you go down. Inhale. Exhale. Once more. Push yourself up and back to child's pose. Sitting on your heels, round your spine, roll yourself up, grab onto your knees, and then round your spine, pull your belly in, bring your chin down towards your chest. Roll yourself all the way up until you're in a sitting neutral. Arms are gonna reach up, big inhale. Oh. Exhale over to the side, lateral side body. <sighs> Hold for a full breath in. <sighs> Inhale up through center. Exhale to the other side. <sighs> full breath in. Full breath out. Come all the way up. Roll those shoulders up and back. Focusing on gliding the shoulder blades together. So get that pinch together and then pull them down. Let's do three more circles back. Two, one, keep them right there. Pull the chin a little bit closer into the body. Now drop chin to chest. Back to center, bring your eyes all the way up. Head back to center, now you're gonna turn it over to one side. Keep the shoulders in the place that they were. Center to the other side, don't move the shoulders. We're gonna do that once more. Side, other side. Back to center, drop chin to chest, only move the head. You're bringing that right ear to the right shoulder. Don't lift it all the way up, just to the side, and then bring chin back down through center, left ear, left shoulder. Repeat, chin down through center, right ear, right shoulder. Chin down through center, left ear, left shoulder. And sit back up. If you want to get a little bit more comfy and cozy, we're going to turn onto our back and stretch out the back of our legs. If you need a mat, there is a mat inside over by the dining room table. All right, hope you guys are all doing well. Let's flip over onto our back. That's a chipmunk, by the way. Bend your knees into the chest. <clears throat> Wrap your hands around your shins. You can just take a gentle rock side to side, feel out your body. As I stated before, when we create, when we're on our, when we're in child's pose, we create more space in our spine to breathe. I want you to still bring that mindful inhalation into now the sides in front of your rib cage. Still focus on breathing into the back of the body. If you're not sure what I mean by that, send me a message and I can explain it a little bit in more detail. Let's wrap the hands now behind the legs. Slowly stretch up one at a time. I want you to bring both legs up and now get really heavy in this tailbone. It's okay if your low back lifts up a little bit. You just wanna isolate the feet. Now let's flex the feet. So press through the heels. Push the heels up towards the sky. Roll the foot to point. You can crack your knuckles if you like in your toes. Flex the feet up. Hands can still be behind the thighs. Knees can still be bent. Point, let's just isolate the feet. Flex them, point for five. You can yawn for three. So just roll out the ankles in each direction. I'm still here, everyone. Hi, Grace, Carly, Jean, and Lori. Lovely to have you.
we're let's see and close five four three two one place the left foot down flat you can bring it even straight if that's more comfortable hug the right knee into the body it's parallel now we really want to focus on the flexed foot right now so hands are behind the thigh as you begin to stretch the leg up you lead with that flexed foot i want you to push through the center of the heel so you can get deep into the, the achilles deep into the calf all right let's repeat bend and stretch deep bend and stretch follow along five and stretch four stretch three two i want you to hold it all the way up on one now you can roll that foot to point slide your hands still a little bit further down so you can lower it and then pull it in lower it down pull it in lower and pull lower and pull feel that length in the hamstring deep breath for five, four, three, two, hold it in on one. Bend the knee as much as you need to. You can always stretch your bottom leg. You can always bend your top leg. You've made it this far. You chose to stretch. So that's the most important part. Now let's breathe for three deep breaths here. <sighs> body over to the left without lifting up that hip though keep it still planted into the floor I want you to feel just that beautiful long stretch to the side of the leg into the hip flexor you can reach the same arm out to the side to get a little bit more stability we're gonna breathe for two deep breaths in <sighs> once more <sighs> back through center bend the knee in wrap your hand around the thigh left hand now opposite arm out to the side as you open that leg out towards the shoulder getting deep in that groin try to keep your hips evenly weighted so instead of flopping over to one side just stay grounded even if you're looking for something deeper you can stretch that top leg out and we're gonna hold here for three full breaths Once more, bring your leg back through center, bend the knee in towards the chest, cross the right leg over the left thigh, flexing the foot. You're going to thread the needle, figure four, hands through that supporting original leg, same elbow as the leg is pushing it away. Now this is really important that you keep your hips square, we don't want to tip over to one side. <laughs> Most important, we're not holding our breath. So let's take four active breaths here in through the nose. Let out your weekend, let it go. <sighs> Even the chipmunks are breathing with us. Two more. Right, he's staring right at me. One more. Stretch both legs up. Cross the right leg over like you're sitting in a chair. Grab your shins or ankles and pull the legs away. So pull them apart, further away from you. <sighs> One more full breath. To release, stretch the legs up. Feel how much longer and open that right leg feels. Flex the feet. Bend that right leg down supporting side we switch hands behind the thigh hug in keep that heel flexed we stretch it up 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 and then bend it in stretch add the breath stretch so the knee pulls in inhale close to the nose and then the heel leads out exhale away from the body inhale in exhale out three more <sighs> You're in the 
comfort of your home. Breathe as loud as you want to. One more. Stay up there. Roll the foot to point. Slide the hands a little bit further down the leg. Lower it and then pull it in. Lower it, pull it in. So the focus here is on that length of the hamstring. As you pull it in, keep growing the leg longer towards your head. Of course, you can bend the knee. One day will be fully straight. Let's do three more. Two more. And then I want you to hold that last one. Option to stretch the supporting leg straight. Helps practice your splits. Three more deep breaths. I know a lot of you are big runners and cyclists and CrossFit, so this is a beautiful stretch for all of you. And of course, Pilates fans. One more. So we release the leg a little bit in line with the hip again. Left arm out to the side. We take our hand and we place it on the outside of the thigh so we can gently cross the leg through center without lifting that hip off. That hip pulls down towards the mat. I want you to feel that beautiful IT band stretch. We're still breathing. One more. Back through center, bend the knee in, hug it. Now that opposite arm goes out to the side, that hand is around the shin. You open the knee towards the shoulder. Getting into that groin. Try and stay even on both sides. Option to stretch the leg out as much as you want to, flexing the foot for a little bit deeper. Don't worry, you'll look like me eventually. Just take it at your pace. Make sure both hips are on the floor. One more deep breath. <sighs> and we bring that leg back through center. If that, bent, if that leg is straight, bend it in. Cross it over, figure four. Let's stretch out those hips. Again, most important pose to keep our hips evenly weighted so we can get the benefit of this hip stretch. <sighs> and for most of you, this never gets easy. For myself, I'm never, ever released. Unless I literally don't work out for a year. But then I'm tight because I haven't worked out. It's a very complicated region of our body. One more full breath together. <sighs> Stretch the legs up. Cross the left leg over the right like you're sitting cross-legged. Grab onto your ankles and pull those ankles away. If you're lifting up your head to grab your legs, you don't have to grab your shins. You can even grab below your knees. Again, this whole stretch isn't to force anything. It's to release. Let's do one more full breath. Okay, let's get into one of my favorite stretches. Keep that left leg crossed over. Just place the right foot on the floor. Take your right hand and grab onto your left ankle. Tip both legs over to the side. Pull that heel closer into the body. And now keeping the shoulder square, gently push that knee away from you. So you're getting deep into the hip flexor, deep into that little crevice. You may feel it pop or hear a pop. It's all good. You need it to happen. So maybe try pulling the knee in, and then gently exhaling, pulling the leg out. Let's do that one more time in, and then out back through center hug the knee in stretch it all the way up feel that length place it down cross the right leg over the left thigh other side tip the legs over to the side take your hand grab your ankle reach that opposite arm out to the side to ground both shoulders down now gently push the knee away from you we can play with two more pulling it in and then pushing it out one more, pulling it in, then pushing it out, take a nice long hold. <sighs> Back through center of our body. Stretch
stretch both legs straight up our legs feel longer they feel more release we're gonna now externally rotate at our hips find happy baby bending those knees towards the shoulders again without force do not lift your head up to grab your legs you can always just wrap your hands around the thighs grab your shins or ankles and if it's possible grab the base of your feet I want you to feel heavy in your shoulders and heavy in your tailbone. If you like, a gentle rock side to side feels nice. If you're looking for a deeper stretch, you can always stretch one leg out at a time into a straddle. That just gets a little bit deeper into your groin. We'll hold here for two more breaths. Bend the knees, pull them back in. Stretch the legs straight out. Take a long, full body stretch. Let your ribs puff out, arch your spine. We're gonna finish with a spinal twist, bending your knees into the body parallel. <clears throat> Lifting up your hips, sitting onto your left bum. Open up your left knee. Bring your arms out to the side, ground your shoulders. Pull the belly button in. Suck in the core as you twist your right leg over the left. Eye gaze can stay straight up, or you can turn your eye gaze over to the right shoulder. We're gonna hold here. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. Schedule this week is going to be Tuesday sculpt, Wednesday ballet. If you have any suggestions of classes or workouts, send me a message. I'm going to be posting Saturdays, what day is it? Friday's Pilates core class up online tomorrow. Let's return back to center, placing our feet back onto the mat, realigning our spine and lifting up our bum. Sitting now onto the right bum, opening up the right knee. Shoulders are both heavy and square. We suck in the belly. We twist the left leg over. Eye gaze can stay up, or you can turn to look in the opposite direction of your leg. your final full breath. <sighs> Bring your legs back into center, hug your knees deep into your chest, take little micro circles, massaging out your low back in each direction. Stretch one leg out at a time, mat width. Bring your arms either onto your belly or you can reach your arms overhead where you can stay laying on your back closing your eyes bring yourself through a mindful meditation beginning to slow down really tune in with your body and your breath and just give yourself a moment of gratitude for moving your body restoring your body and you know not choosing to do a crossfit workout but just a nice slow restorative stretch Thank you so much for joining me, everyone. Lots of love to all of you. I will talk to you later.